What are the current negotiations on the river to help keep Lake Mead's water level from further decline? So we, we actually spent most of uh, the spring this year negotiating for how to protect Lake Powell, uh, right? Because for the first time, we were seeing a, a significant probability the Lake Powell could go below uh, minimum power pool, which means uh, Glen Canyon Dam would stop generating hydroelectric power, uh, the city of Page would lose access to, to their water supply, portions of the Navajo Nation would lose access to their water supplies. So the seven states and the federal government came together over a pretty condensed about a six week period and negotiated for how to first move water from upstream to downstream uh, to help protect those levels and then also to leave more water in Powell than was scheduled to be delivered to, to Lake Mead, which unfortunately, you know, for the lower basin, you know, exacerbated the issues in Lake Mead and drove elevations down probably about another seven feet or so. So now, um, just recently, the Bureau of Reclamation has come out and said, in order to protect power pool up in Powell uh, and elevation 1,000 in Mead, the, the river community is facing between two million and four and a half million acre feet in additional cuts. So that's an enormous amount of water. I mean, current usages on the Colorado River are somewhere around 15 million acre feet for seven states and two countries. So at that higher end, you're talking about almost a third of current uses on the river uh, needing to be cut and, and probably permanently cut uh, unless the hydrology you know, really takes a turn for the better.